Hi, this is ZL3XDJ, Zulu Lima 3X Ray, Denmark, Japan, Brian in the shack. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, uh, a short video here on a bit of an update from the previous video uh, regarding the um, the two element vertical on 20 meters, which is basically um, a normal uh, 20 meter vertical and then five meters behind it we've put a parasitic a parasitic um, uh, vertical uh, <clears throat> to try and get uh, more gain a long path. Um, just recently, I I got the um, I got the little um, QCX Mini QRP transceiver for twenty meters. So immediately I thought, um, I wonder how I can improve the antennas to a long path um, because of circumstances here within within the. Uh, within the house etc I, I only really get on um the bands in the evening long path time time now is uh 6 45 in the evening so the uh, the bands are not quite open <clears throat> but a little, um uh so basically what what we had originally um was um just uh, just here, I made a wee little drawing, just a, a 20 meter vertical antenna, just a basic 20 meter verti vertical antenna. And um, I, I, as I've noted here, I, I, I could, you know, I could uh, um, start to build maybe a two element Yagi for 20 meters, but um, then, you know, I would have to have a, have a mass to put it on top of. I probably need to go this uh, the twenty meter vertical is only is only five meters tall. I would I would imagine if I had um, a yagi, it would have to be um, it, quite a lot higher to uh, to work quite well. So we took the um, the basic five meter uh, vertical, uh, which is just base. You know the the, the coax comes off the off the off the sender, radials on the ground, and you get omni omnidirectional. Uh, radiation from it. So what I uh, what I decided to do, um, and and was and this was just for this was just simply for forward gain, simply for forward gain long path. I wasn't interested in short path or front to back or anything like that. Um, so basically, what what I what I did is I, I had the original vertical here. Five meters behind it, this is long path fire to the right. Five meters behind it, I put a, a, a parasitic um, reflector. Both of these poles are actually painting poles, so I put a, a parasitic reflector behind. This is just connected to radials at the bottom, it is not connected to a coax, it is not connected to the other antenna at all, it is just simply. A, a reflector, a parasitic a reflector, and I worked out over time um, using a field strength meter behind. I I worked out that the normal um, driven element was five meters. The reflector worked best at five point one meters. This was using a field strength meter behind and altering the length until we had next to no uh, RF um, behind it. So that told me everything was going the other way. First, uh, first things we noticed with um, was uh, I was two, two S points better into Europe and Scandinavia and the United Kingdom uh, compared to the single vertical. Noise level, noise level had gone down also. And it worked really well. The next question I got asked by a few people was, uh, what about the front to back ratio? And as I said, I wasn't really interested about front to back. I only wanted forward gain. But I tried to work out how I could actually show um, front to back results. And the only way, I could, only way I could think of it was to leave the original vertical driven element here, um, the reflector, I now made the sorry the 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 driven element is five meters. Instead of the reflector being five point one, I made it just under five meters. 
but I added a relay with a coil of wire switched in and over a period of time uh, of testing I worked out that switching the coil in would make the length of it l longer than the uh, driven element and therefore become a reflector again. Take the um, coil out and just have it connected straight through so it was smaller and then, bec then became a director. In other words, by switching it in and out, it could be a reflector, therefore firing long path. If I switched the coil out and just went to the shorter length, it was in a director firing short path. So I could get a reference uh, only only maybe um, on, on the radio, I could get a, a reference of listening to a signal and, uh, in Europe and then switching over and hopefully I could see a difference from front to back. I couldn't work out uh, at this time how to get a, a, a particular meter reading as such, but it was just to work out if there was a difference between front to back. With the uh, with this uh, with this element here being a reflector and uh, firing long path, as I say, I got two S points gain over the single vertical and just over here this is basically what the uh, what the lobe looks like when you put a, a, um, a reflector behind it so basically basically you have the the driven element here and uh, behind it over here you would have the reflector so everything's going a uh, long path so we're just going to listen on the radio I, I've rigged the uh, outside. I've rigged the uh, the relay and the coil up so it goes to a switch here, so I can switch um, either way, um, long path, short path. So I'm hoping that on the band there might be a few signals around in Europe, and I, I should pick them up quite well, long path, and then when I switch over to short path. Uh, the signal should obviously drop down, hopefully quite a bit, showing some kind of uh, some kind of results in uh, in front to back. Um, so we'll just have a listen. Just starting off on CW. So. I think that was a weak French station. It's still early in the evening. Grey line is nowhere near us. I'm just pushing me look a wee bit here t to think that there'll be some Europeans on already. But um, we'll have a listen. It's a bit... All right, Lima Zulu. We'll switch over to short path. So yes, he has gone down in, uh, in, in quite a bit, back to long path. He hasn't stayed on. A Russian station on. So basically, going back to the drawing, all I'm doing is I'm just turning this reflector into a director. And obviously firing long path at the moment for Europe. When I switch over, firing in the opposite direction, gives it a basic audio uh, signal result of front to back with a better look. It, it's not very scientific, um, but I think you can see that it does actually, uh, does actually work. So it's a Russian station and firing a long path towards him. Now I'll switch over to the reverse short path now. I can still hear him but he's not very strong. And back to uh, back to long path. His direction. You, you won't actually see a lot on the S meter because um, I have the RF gain turned down um, most of the time. So we're firing long path. I'm not sure where this station is. Wolf. I think he's a German station. 
So that's long path. We'll now switch the opposite way to short path now. So he has gone down a little bit. The S meter is not quite showing everything, but that's on the short path. And that's long path. Five, 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 six, maybe. Not sure who he was talking to. So, long path, now over to short path, now, just about lost him, back to long path. Nothing actually shown on the S meter, but as I say, the RF gains turned down anyway. It's just a basic comparison between uh, long path and short back. Uh, short path, in other words, uh, um, uh, front to back. Generally, not 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 in uh, not in S points, not in DBs, but just to get an idea that there is quite a difference in these uh, vertical uh, array. Uh, and um, as I say, because they're only five meters tall. They blend into the garden quite nicely. I haven't got a big tower with a, a yagi on the top. They're just two, uh, two five meter painting poles, which were about three dollars each, and a few, uh, few radios. I actually, I actually found, um, having 16 five meter radials, uh, tuned radials on either vertical, uh, instead of just random lengths of wire, actually reduced the noise as well. I'm sure who there is. Let's have a look on the sideband. As I say, it's still very early, so the band's uh, not really open yet. Let's go back a bit. So we're firing a long path on 20 metres. So, um, Let's see, let me just see where the, um, uh, where the, uh, grey line is at the moment, actually. Um, hopefully it'll come up here, so I'll have a look, uh, where are we? So I'll look at New Zealand down here, and, uh, yeah, the long path is about another one hour to a, a, one and a half hours away, so it's still quite early. So that's a uh, long path, sounds a European station, gone. <laughs> Isn't it always the way you just lock onto a, a signal to listen to and then it disappears? Back again, long path, switch to short path now. Still there, but obviously very weak. Short path, long path. Short path, long path. I, I definitely uh, convinced there is some front to back there. Not sure exactly how much, but I'm quite glad that there is some front to back anyway. Even though after this uh, video, I will be disconnecting the coil because I only require gain in the long path direction. Let's have a quick tune up, see if there's anything else. I also find, um, turn the volume down a second, I also find with the two element, with the band noises, uh, the band noise is definitely reduced and signals just seem to, just seem to pop out of nowhere quite strongly. And I say it's still quite early as well. Long path. Short path. Can still hear, can still hear him. Long path. Short path. Basically back to front. Uh, fr front to back. That's long path. Pointing straight at him in Europe. Going short path the opposite direction off the back of the vertical array. Can still hear him, but signal has dropped quite a bit.
back to long part. Have a look at the band again. Somebody Alpha. Lima Yankee, Long Path. Short Path. Just about lost him. Come back, Lima Yankee. Still on Short Path. He'll go back to Long Path, in case I am missing him. No. Lima Zulu, long path, short path. The band is quite, considering it's uh, still a while for um, the grey line to come over. So anyway, that's the uh, basic, uh, basic, uh, basic setup, basic idea. Nothing uh, too flash. Again, what you see is what you get. I don't know on 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 the results, uh, on the order results and the S meter, what I can take from that. As in, I know a lot of people like to know front to back in DB and stuff, stuff like this. As I say, um, I, I'm just interested in forward gain for my long path operations when I'm on the uh, radio. Um, anybody's got any feedback? Please share with me. I'll, uh, I'd I'd like to know. Basic antenna, a couple of painting poles, and uh, we've got a, a decent beam. Two extra X, S points over the single vertical, and uh, it would seem a very nice front to back on the uh, on the antenna. All the best, 73s, enjoy the hobby. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee, and then I'm back on the radio. Hopefully catch up with some guys in the UK and, uh, and, and Scotland, because they were actually booming through last night. 73s. Enjoy the radio. ZL3XDJ off and clear. Bye-bye.